Hey guys, Zepra here and welcome to my Demon Hunter guide. This is going to be a guide about the new hero class that will be coming out with World of Warcraft Legion. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, these are the Demon Hunter models. Unfortunately, they can only be elves because it's what fits into the lore. And I don't think Blizzard have any plans to change that uh, in the future. I've seen a lot of people uh, sort of saying that they don't want it to be just elves. But it does unfortunately fit into the law, which is why um, which is why they're not going to change that, or at least I don't think they're going to change that. And uh, from what I've heard, apparently the demon hunters to become demon hunters have to take their eyes out or something. I guess it's a bit like uh, how Kilrog and the um, and his his team I completely forgot what they're called, but they have to take their eye out to see the future. I guess is a similar thing where they've got to take out their eyes so that they can see stuff that people with eyes can't see or something like that but um... it looks... the, the expansion looks really good. I'll be able to cover a bit more but these are the models as you can see here uh... they do have two specializations that is Havoc and Vengeance Havoc is the DPS spec and Vengeance is the tank spec they both have a different metamorphosis form um... which I'll show you in just a minute but um, it's uh, it's looking like it's going to be a kind of kind of a mix of rogue, um, or kind of just rogue really. That's what it that's what it's looking like with the moves, and it's the first class that will be able to double jump. And I will also show you the moves that uh, we've been given information on by Blizzard, so you'll be able to see that as well. And um, I can sort of explain how I think they're going to work in PvP as well and then um, that will pretty much conclude this guide but hopefully you've had a chance to have a good look at the character models they're looking very very nice indeed and um, I think hmm, well I don't really think they'll fit in as much as other classes to the law but um, it, I can get proved well I can be proven wrong can't I but they are looking like a very good um, very good class and it's definitely something I'm going to try on the PTR to show you guys as well. Here you can see the metamorphosis form for both Havoc and Vengeance. As you can see Vengeance is quite a bit bigger, a bit more tankier looking than uh, Havoc so it can sort of give you the idea that Havoc is the DPS spec and Vengeance is the tank spec and um, not they haven't, uh, Blizzard haven't revealed yet what the metamorphosis form does all they've revealed to us is that metamorphosis form is actually a thing for demon hunters so we're still yet to hear about what um, what's actually going to happen in the metamorphosis form okay before I go ahead and talk about the moves I first want to say um, that the resource that demon hunters will use is actually going to be fury or more specifically sort of demonic fury and that's what they're going to um, that's what they're going to work with, so it's kind of like a rogue with a warrior kind of based uh, resource. And um, the first one, uh, the first move there is the Fell Rush, and it basically rushes you forward, dealing seven damage, uh, and it does it to all enemies in your path. So it's kind of similar to a charge, but you deal damage on your way, sort of as you rush forward. So you can rush towards a target and do a bunch of damage on your way forward, and um, you can generate 40 fury if you do that kind of damage to at least one target so you can use fell rush to rush away from an enemy and not hit anyone or whatever and that won't really benefit you uh, in any way apart from sort of escaping but if you hit someone with it you generate 40 rage um, as well as being able to get away or rush into a fight so I feel like that's going to be a um, very mobile way to uh, to, to move around and the Chaos Strike there is um, just an attack that hits all the enemies in front of you for 8,000 Chaos damage. So basically imagine a Fist of Fury that isn't channeled and just hits once. That's the kind of thing. So they're in front of you. Chaos Strike, you just hit them all. So say for there's three people in front of you, you hit all three in the uh, freeze team. So that's kind of what that does. And there's no cooldown on either of those two. Uh, the Chaos Nova you uh, erupt fell energy you stun all the nearby targets for five seconds so pretty much 
it's like an AoE stun. Um, I guess you can kind of pair Chaos Nova to um, the Incapacitate Raw for Druids, and that gets people within, I believe it's five yards, and it um, it basically disorients them for three seconds. So that's going to be like a mix of Bash with a five second duration, and Incapacitate and Raw for the AoE. Uh, the uh, oh, I forgot to mention as well, the Chaos Fury costs forty. The Chaos Strike, sorry, costs 40 Fury. The Chaos Nova costs 30 Fury. The I Beam here costs 25 Fury. And you basically blast the target and whatever enemy is near it. So if anyone's near it, if they're turtling back, you can blast all of them. And it does it for 21k damage over 3 seconds. So it's a bit like a dot as well. But you channel the I Beam. So it does the damage over time, but you're channeling it. So it's like a dot that you've got a channel kind of thing. Or at least that's what I believe. But, um,. It's still yet to be tested on the PTR. The spectral sight is probably one of the um, one of the worst moves that I think is around, particularly because I'm playing a feral druid. I don't particularly want to um, I don't particularly want to get screwed over by it, but um, it looks as though I might because what it does is it allows you to see enemies through physical physical barriers so basically pillars and that kind of thing and it also allows you to see the people that are stealth and invisible so mages can get screwed with it, rogues can get screwed with it, feralgers can get screwed with it it's on a two minute cooldown but they can use it at pretty much the start of the game and then they can see you in stealth and that's going to really really suck and then there's finally the vengeful retreat which is on a 24 second cooldown and you basically jump back and you avoid the next attack or spell that's directed at you so for example, if you're at 20% HP, you use the Vengeful Retreat, you move back if a warrior charges you to, charges at you to execute you, then um, you're not good, you're going to avoid that attack, so you'll avoid a execute, which is pretty OP. But um, that's pretty much the only moves they've given us an idea of, and um, that's pretty much all there is for this video, unfortunately. We haven't really been given too much information yet, as it's just been the announcement for the new expansion. But um, hopefully there's some more information to come on the Demon Hunter, and then I will be able to give you a bit more information regarding the Demon Hunter, and um, hopefully I can make another video of me testing out in the PTR, and that kind of stuff, just to um, just to give you a nice insight into Demon Hunter, because I'd like to go into more detail, but I don't really have more detail to give you, unfortunately. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more kind of videos like this, um, or some PvP montages, all the good PvP stuff, then please be sure to hit the subscribe button and you'll see when I upload a video. And if you liked this video, please thumbs up for me because it really helps me to uh, to recognize that this is the kind of video you guys like to see and that you'd like to see a bit more of these in the future. And if you've got any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section. I'll try and answer them with all the information we know about Demon Hunters currently, but um, there's there's a chance that I might not be able to answer your question, unfortunately, but I will reply back to you 100%. So thank you very much for watching. Have a good day, and bye for now.